Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan111, and welcome back to Soko Cat Dungeons. I think we left off, I guess I solved level 16, and so level 17 is the next level for us to try. So let's see what I can do with this one today. Lots of spikes. There is a boomerangable thingy. Is that a word? Boomerangable? Let's imagine yes. Um, what is going to control? I guess the boomerang is almost certainly going to control this little platform over here, which suggests to me that if the platform is going to move down, I might be able to push something to the north of it. So if I push things this way, yeah, then it might still be the case that everything is still free enough to get to all the places they need to go. Um, yeah, I think so, because I could imagine pushing this here. Uh, but how would I get around the other one? That might be wrong, actually. Because this guy, I can't walk on the spikes. And I don't see a way to get around him now. Is there a way to get around him if I push this elsewhere? Or can I still push this elsewhere? Um, don't see a way to do that right now. Yeah, because once I push this this far to the north, there would be no way to get it back. So how would I ever get one onto this square where the kitty is standing right now? That's what I want to know. Well, I see one way it could happen. So let's play around with that for the moment. So boomerang pushes that down. So what I see is I could now walk all the way around this way and push you here. And if I do that, yes, then I can still do this over this way. There we go. And that works. All right. Very good. What's going on in this puzzle? If I rotate the camera, can I see a little bit more? I guess that's the entire rest of the puzzle. Presumably, I can make a bridge by dumping these in the water? Yes. Okay, so one goes in the water to make the bridge. The other three need to land in various locations. Which of the locations are easier or more difficult? Right now, I think this is just a tutorial puzzle that's teaching that me that mechanic, because I'm not sure that we've seen that in this game before, because this all seems pretty trivial. So far as I can tell, it seems like pretty much any of the blocks could have ended up in any of the destinations, other than the first one, which created the bridge. Okay, lots of things moving, and let's reset one more time. Is that a spike trap that's going down in the water? It is. And that's why there's all the skulls and things there. So which boomerangable thingy? Let's see. That one just raises that and gives me more space to go, which is great. This one to the south seems to just be a trap because it seems like it's just going to raise the boomerang thing, and or the dart trap thing, and that's not something I want. What? <laughs> um... What is, wait a minute, what is this blue thing? If I step off of it, oh, that's that thing. I'm sorry, kitty. I did not anticipate the consequences of my actions. So in that case, what does this do? Does this turn off the spike trap? No, it puts another thing there that I didn't notice was there. Okay, so I want to turn both of these on. Then I need to, hmm. How do I not get dark trapped? I kind of am imagining some possibilities where, where what? I think I want to push the sky to the north, but that involves pushing a lot of blocks out of the way. Can I push them back into the way? I think so, because for example, this guy could move there. This guy could move here. 
This guy... Wait a minute. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, is this recoverable? I think it still is. Because I think I can do this and basically swap the position of two boxes and still be in the same spot. But if I push this guy to the south, then I can push this guy to the north. You. This still might be recoverable. No, because the moment I step off of this, the dart trap is going to pop up, which means I can no longer get into the south row. So I don't quite have enough space to do the things I want to do, I don't think. Yeah, and if I just do this, I'm just dead. Yeah. Okay. The use of the boomerang in this puzzle seems a little bit artificial to me. What if I just do... Why does this not work? I think this does work. Did I cheese the puzzle? Oh, it opens the door, but now I'm dead if I move off the square. Got it. But, but, can I not do this? Push you back into place. And then push you back into place. Ha 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 ha. There we go. Okay. I am pleased by that. Uh, the batteries in my headphones just died, so I'll be right back. And we're back. I knew those batteries were getting low, because my headphones have a little light that blinks when the batteries are low, but I always run them down all the way to the bottom. Okay, level 20. Um, there's a spike trap that can be turned off for reasons known only to people who are not me. Actually, I think I see something. If I do this, and then this, this is not good, right? Hmm. How am I going to get a block to where the kitty is standing now? Let's actually restart the puzzle. The easiest way to get a block there is to do this. However, then there's no way for me to get to the north end of the puzzle that doesn't involve stranding a block. So, I need to somehow get this block out of the way differently. I would like him to be sitting here, because then I can access him from all four sides. But that involves getting to where this block above me currently is. And whenever I do that, then he gets in the way of me getting around this side to push this guy back. So, what is the solution? Well, if this guy were sitting here, if anybody were sitting here, I still couldn't walk around the whole puzzle. So turning off the spikes doesn't seem like it nets me a whole lot. However, if there was a guy sitting there and I could walk around him. I could push him onto the spikes temporarily, and then he'd be out of the way. So yeah, let's see if I can get a block onto the spikes, because a block on the spikes lets me walk all the way around and get to either end. Is it possible to get a block into that position? I still think the answer might be no. Also, I wonder why some of the floor tiles are black. Are they intended to give me a clue? If they are, it's not helping me. Okay, initial pushes. The only initial pushes that are possible are this guy to the north or this guy to the south. If I push this guy to the south, he can never get off the south wall and we're stuck. Therefore, this has to be my initial push. Now this already creates a problem because uh, it means I can't get to the north of this guy if I push this guy to the right. So maybe I want to push him to the left. Oh, maybe I want to push him to the left. Is that what I tried earlier? I think so. <laughs> um, but let's maybe try it again. Oh, hey, here, here we go. What if I do this? 
I didn't see that spot where the leftmost block is currently, and that's actually a really good spot for a block to be, because it's rescuable. So now... So now what? Uh, I think I created a problem for myself. Because now I can never get the block who's standing on the spikes off of the spikes, can I? No, I could push him to the right. Yeah, I can still push him to the right. And so that's going to solve everything, question mark? Yeah, I think that's going to solve everything. Because it means this guy can come to his final resting position here. This guy can turn off the spikes for me. And then I can push him here. All right. And just like that, level 20 is complete. Okay. And now we're in, like, the poison swamp. We're in, like, a new biome or something. <gasps> These disappear after I step off of them. Okay, very nice little tutorial. Um, so basically I can only step on those once. And so they are valued resources that I must spend wisely. I can't recall if there was something like that in the previous game. There might have been. Okay. In order to get the guy to the north of me to ever go to the right. It means that I would have to move him to the south first. If I'm going to move him to the south, it probably means I need this guy kind of out of the way. Yeah, so let's just do kind of like the most obvious thing, which does involve using my precious resource, but I think it's okay to use. Now I'm able to push this guy over here, and I think I still have enough places to stand that I can safely get this guy over here. Yeah, all right. So that was a little tutorial puzzle for the falling platform. It's great. And how do they interact with blocks? Blocks can go across them just fine, and the kitty, but when the kitty steps off, that's when things happen. Okay. I believe I've learned what I needed to learn from that. Um... It appears that I just want to start like this and leave you here and then go across. So let's not even think too hard about it. And the only possible move I have right now is this. Now all of a sudden we have some choices. Choices, choices. If I ever move any of these blocks to the north, They'll be stuck against that wall, so I can't do that. I see it, but I can do this and spend all of my platform resources, and then this guy can easily be pushed into his final resting spot. All right, that was just kind of flash of insight right there. I will take it. All right, so far this is still going pretty good. Let's restart and just kind of watch what was happening. Okay, so the blocks were sinking, there was another platform that was sinking, and there was something way over on the end that was sinking. And we have a boomerangable, which raises... Oh, it included a boomerang switch. Fascinating. So if I hit this, that's what raises the blocks. Okay, um, once again, it feels like I would just want to do those at the beginning of the puzzle, and so it was kind of, I don't know, adding a little bit of complexity for the boomerang si sake, but the boomerang isn't really... Uh, factoring into the puzzle of a lot, but that's okay. Uh, hmm. I think I see the gist of what I might be able to do with this. This could be pushed temporarily out of the way over here. This guy could be pushed... I think this is a good temporary spot where I'll be able to walk around some things if I need to. I only get to walk around them once, though. Is now the appropriate time to walk around? I think I see a path to the solution if I do. So let's go ahead and run these over. Oh no, I'd have to step on the spikes. Uh, yeah, I oopsed. The idea was, then push the block, I just push to the left. But I'd have to walk around to get there, and there's spikes in the way. 
So, that's where my would-be solution failed. So, let's correct it. I think I had the right idea at the start. That's all good. And I think this is also still good. But now... But now... I'm not sure if this is good, actually. Oh, you know what occurred to me? Uh, no, there isn't a way to turn off the spikes. I was thinking I could push the block that I just pushed onto the spikes, but then I'd never be able to push it off of the spikes because that would require me to end up standing on the spikes. So that's no good. So basically I'm about to do exactly what I did before. And if one expects a different outcome, then that's the definition of madness. So how can I do something different? Uh, I think I might have already trapped myself at this point. Okay, this is going to not work, but let's just go ahead and kind of think about things. Like if I could get to multiple sides, this block is easy to push back down into here. So how, okay, so I'd have to push a block from the south or from the north in order to get it to where the kitty is standing now. But basically, when I have the guy who was originally here, who is now pushed over here... Oh, and interesting. I cannot push him into the poison water. Not that I would want to, but I was just trying to push him off the edge to give myself some more walking space. I can push him over here, but then I would need this whole area cleared. Hmm. Hmm. And there's no reason I would ever want to do this again, right? I can't come up with one. Okay, let's restart. And try to figure out what I'm missing. I still feel great about this move. This gets this block out of the way. He can come find a good home near the end of the puzzle. What if this guy only moves... Here's an idea. What if this guy only moves to here... Yeah, and then this guy can move to here, and then things are happening. Uh, does this not even solve the puzzle without me having to use my temporary resources? Sure enough, I never had to stand on any of those things. Was this an unintended solution? Were they red herrings? We may never know. <laughs> Alright, I feel like I kind of broke that puzzle, honestly. Um, okay, how do I get this block over there? The answer is, this block can be temporarily moved out of the way and then moved back later. Great. So, I saw that. So that is good. Okay, both those guys have reached their final resting spot. I don't have any choice but to go to here. And then, yeah, this is also straightforward. Hmm. So far, things have been easier than I thought that they were going to be. I see a treasure. We're at level 25. It's probably another amethyst. I think the uh, kind of map screen where you can select the levels kind of shows me that. Um, let's just walk around and inspect the puzzle a little bit. So there's a thing that raises there. There's a different thing that raises there. And a third one that raises there. So if I had blocks on all three, then I would be able to walk over to the treasure chest. And then... There's this bit. Okay, so can I get blocks on all three and get to the treasure chest? And once I do... Actually, let's imagine I'd already done that. Uh, I'd gotten the treasure chest. Let's just walk over here and make sure that this portion of the puzzle is solvable just using this portion of the puzzle, or do I need to like bring import blocks over from the first half to the second half? That's what I want to know. There's only two possible first moves, and both of them seem to kind of suck. However, it's not as bad as it seems because reasons. Um, 
Like, I could get back to the other side of this and push this around. But in order to get this guy, like, if I push him to the south, I need to get onto the right-hand side of him. And none of the positions that this block is in can help with that. So it seems like I screwed something up there. Irrevocably. Unless... I could also do this. Does that change anything? Yes, because it means I can now do this, and then this, and then this. Okay, so that portion of the puzzle is solved by, it, by itself. So let's see if we can grab the uh, bonus thingy, which I'm pretty sure is the official term. The bonus thingy of destiny. Um, let's see. The block to the north of me in between the two spike traps is the one I'm worried about. I think I see what I could do with him, though. If I push that one into that corner... How am I going to get on the other side of this block, though? By pushing this one first far out of the way? So then I could put this here. Then go chase the sky. Oh, I can't get around there anymore. Well, darn. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I should have just hit the reset key. I didn't want to see the sad cat animation. Now I feel bad. Um, I like the most of the idea of that. What if... I'm not sure if this is right, but what if I just left this here instead? Does that give me the space that I need? No, I still can't walk around this guy to push him to the north. So yeah, if I just push this guy into the spot, how could I get him to the north? And it would involve this guy not being in the way at all. Which means he'd want to be here. Okay. That's where he began. So, oh, but the problem with him there... Right. I'm still presuming that that's correct. The problem with this guy still being here is that if I push this guy to the north, I can't get to the right-hand side of him. So... So I'm not sure what to do. I push this guy to the south, but then they're both pinned against the south wall, which is no good. Putting this guy here, I can't even push the other guy. Putting him here allows me to push the other guy all the way to where the kitty is standing, but then we're kind of stuck. And if I push that block to the north now, Then I could only push it to the right, which also just kind of blocks things off. So something is still wrong. Maybe the first block that I pushed, yeah, the first block that I pushed has a lot of flexibility, and so maybe I should not have pushed it into the corner immediately. Maybe I should have done something else with the first block. But what? The block on the south edge is pinned to the south edge. So it eventually must rest where the kitty is standing. Yeah, and the block just to the north of the kitty has to be one of these two. And it can't be pushed north from... Hmm. Yeah, it can't be... The only way to push a block onto the square where the block just landed is in that direction. So one of them has to go there first. So I have to get a block here that I can push to the north. Did I miss something obvious? I feel like I may have missed something obvious. There's not like another switch somewhere or something, is there? That I failed to notice that would turn off these spike traps? That would really help. Could I push a block onto a spike trap? 
Hold the phone. Could I push a block onto a spike trap? I can. I don't know that it's helpful, but let's just start experimenting with that. That block is now on a spike trap. Great. What do I do with that? You might ask. It gives me a little bit of... Well, does it really give me any more maneuvering space? Not really. Also, I can never push it off the spike trap, has just occurred to me. So don't push a block onto a spike trap, because then the block can never be pushed off the spike trap. Okay, so the spike traps are basically just walls of a sort. So in that case... This is a very tiny constrained puzzle. I remember from the first one, this is the type of thing that would really throw me for a loop because it doesn't seem like there's many possible choices. Uh, and yet I would struggle to find, find my way out of certain situations. So, if I push it to the north, then we're stuck because I can't get on the right-hand side of you. And if you go any farther to the right, then we can never get anybody out. So, I don't want to push you to the north. If I push you to the south, you'll be trapped against the south wall. So the only possible move right now is to first do this. And possibly even further over here, uh, but it doesn't seem like that provides any value. It doesn't seem like that changes really anything at all. And I can't push you all the way into the corner because then I'd never be able to get you off the left edge. So having done that, once again, I can't push you south, so the only possible thing I could do is push you to the north. Oops. And then accidentally walk into the trap. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I feel like I'm just going around in circles here. Because this is basically exactly what we were looking at before. Namely, once you were here. Oh, if this block weren't in my way right here, I would be able to walk around this way and do something. So I need that block not to be in my way. Got it. Okay, so don't push this block into his resting position at the beginning. In which case, where am I pushing this block? So that he will still be free to do the things that he needs to do. Live a happy block life. That's a great question. Right now I'm thinking this is at least plausible. I'm not sure that it's going to be correct, but it's at least plausible. So, oops. <laughs> now let me not fat finger the controls, but I'm gonna put that block there. I'm gonna push this guy over here. I'm going to carefully walk around the spike trap. And now I can walk all the way over here. I can push this guy back somewhere. Yeah, he could even go all the way over here. Here we go, here we go. I see it. Now this guy can go into his final resting spot here, and now I have the ability to walk around here and do this. Okay, turn down your headset, uh, because we're about to pick up treasure box, and that's a very loud sound. Press the correct key, F. Silver cup. A silver cup with blue crystals around it. It will look nice in my collection. I think I'm closer to the lost crown. Ooh, there's a lost crown? It's almost like there's lore or something. So we've got a uh, dungeon hunter kitty. Okay. Um, I remember working out how to solve this, but I don't remember at all what I did. <laughs> Pretty sure it involved this at the start. But then what? Um, yes, but then what? Suppose I moved you here, and then moved you here. Then I could push you here. Yes, this is it. Great. I did it. We're going to escape with the silver cup. Level 25 complete. Dare I try another level? I think I do dare. Okay, there are multiple spiky trap shooty things. And were they all moving? They are all moving. Are they boomerang movable thingies? Oh, it's like a whole Towers of Hanoi something something. Two of them are connected or, oh. All right, I accidentally solved the puzzle. Not quite. 
Uh, there are still problems. How do I get the block? Ah, I see how to get the block. It's actually pretty straightforward. Pretty much the only, the only thing that could be done. Hello, block. Please go here and then here. Okay, kind of lucked into a solution there, um, but I will take it. <laughs> level 26 complete, and we'll take a look at level 27 next time. I am going to return to the main menu and say that I hope, as always, that you all are having a great day, and I will see you again soon for more Soka Cat Dungeon. For now, bye-bye.